What's going on guys? Chad back here with you on the RC Models and More channel. And here we are looking at the China Hobby Line 100C 13 milliamp 4S FPV Plus Series battery. That is a mouthful. These batteries are about $16 a piece US. They're claimed to be 100C, which we all know is probably impossible but for the price I was willing to give these batteries a shot let's take a look at them in a little bit more detail on the scale the 4S 1300-100C battery weighs 174 grams Let's see how it compares to some of our other batteries that we might commonly fly. The Tattoo 1300 75C 4S 153 grams. For a power comparison, I wanted to weigh my 1000 milliamp 4S Turnigy Graphene that comes in at 144. Now the two batteries look alike as far as the color of the connectors and the wires. Some people say that these possibly could be made in the same factory. It's hard to argue that point. I wish I had a 1300 or a 1000 in the opposite just so I could double check. Stacked up next to the tattoo, you can see that the width and height of the batteries are about the same. So enough of all that boring stuff. Let's get out here and test this battery. We're going to be throwing it up on the TVS QQ190 frames. One with the T-Motor 2205 2400s. Spinning the new Racecraft 5038 two-blade props. The other with the Mr. Steel Silk TPS motors with the Lumineer butter cutters. Let's take you out to the skies. First test is going to be the T Motor QQ90. And we're going to be flying the Turnigy Graphene. This is on the 5038 race calf props. Please excuse the erratic flying. I recently made some adjustments to my camera angle and to my Tyrannus gimbals, so I'm still kind of getting used to it. Plus, it was pretty cold out. But you can see the graphene is smooth in its power delivery we all know that they don't sag a whole lot until you hit that very last stop and then the bottom pretty much falls out of the graphene's on full punch outs in this setup I was peaking out around 49 amps now let's switch to another setup now we're gonna run the hobby line battery and we're also going to be running on the racecraft props as well as you can see power performance is pretty much the same in my FPV goggles on the OSD I was peaking out around 49 to 50 milliamp to 50 amps sorry about that as you can see there's plenty of power on demand. I didn't notice any sag at all throughout the whole battery flip. Take a look at this for a second and then let's see how these performed on the Acro Quad.
Now here we are with the QQ190 with the Mr. Steel motors and the Lumineer butter cutters. Gonna be doing some punch outs. On punch outs, I was hitting about 62 amps. Again, I flew the whole pack. I didn't notice hardly any sag at all. Not to the very end. And it dropped off just like the graphene's do. All in all, I can say for $16 a battery, you really can't go wrong for backyard bashing or acro. I'm sure people out there who are more serious racers would rather have a better brand or have a higher powered pack, but for the money, I'm pretty happy with these. So we'll see you guys. Please comment, like, subscribe. We've got Racecraft with the 38 reviews coming up. Buttercutter reviews. And there might even be a Connex Falcor.